Hey guys, it's Haley, Cosmetology 120 Lab, and today we are going to um, be doing a lash brow tint. So, um, we're going to start by greeting the client and discussing their personal preferences, current style, current shape, um, and color, um, and um, if we were to be waxing with this as well, we would wax after um, so that we don't color tint the open pores. Um, so wax after, you're always gonna color first and then wax. Um, so we're gonna do a skin analysis on our client. We're looking for inflamed, irritated, broken, raised, swollen skin. Um, we're also looking for um, open sores or wounds. And we are looking for infection, infestation, um, such as head lice that could stop us from completely safely, from safely completing the service today. Um, we're going to go over the client consultation form with the client and we're going to discuss um, any medications or products they've taken within the last 72 hours and any known allergies that the client may have. We are going to um, we're going to discuss any um, facial surgeries that the client has had within the last three months and if they remain under a doctor's care for those. We are going to um, discuss with the client if they are um, prone to cold sores or fever blisters, and we are going to um, talk with the client about any exfoliants or skin lightening agents that they've used within the last 72 hours, and that's your AHAs and BHAs, and then we are also going to discuss um, any facial injections that the client has had within the last um, three weeks, and that is um, your Botox and hyaluronic fillers. If the client is free from all of those, then we are going to proceed with today's service. So we're going to start by washing our hands. And um, so we're washing our hands in warm running water. And lathering with antibacterial liquid soap. Rinse our hands in the warm running water. And then we're going to dry our hands with a disposable paper towel. We're going to turn off the water with the paper towel and we're going to dispose of that paper towel in the trash. Then we are going to sanitize our hands and this um, hand sanitizer does need to be between 62 70% ethyl alcohol and this one is um, this particular product is 70% alcohol based so. So 
so with that being done, we're gonna go ahead and clean our work area. And we're gonna start by putting on gloves. going to get our barbicide wipes. Um, so barbicide wipes are EPA registered, which means that they are effective and safe to use, approved to use in the salon and spa setting. And um, that they are Verified effective as a bactericidal, vericidal, fungicidal agent. So we are going to clean and sanitize with wipe number one. And we're wiping down our table. We're wiping down our cart. Um, the tops of any of our equipment that we're gonna, any of our container, single use containers. We're wiping down our lamp that we're going to use. We're just going to use a mag lamp today. And we're going to dispose of that and allow that to sit for two minutes. And we're going to take wipe number two. And we are. Cleaning the same exact things. So cleaning the tops of all of our containers, all of our, um, everything that's on our cart, wiping it down, wiping down our mag lamp as well. Allowing that to sit for two minutes, disposing of this in the trash. And then we are gonna gather all of our items that we need. So I have my hairnet headband for my client. I have my um, drape for the table. I have some hand towels that we're going to use. And I have some disposable mixing cups here. I have some water. That I'm gonna use so we'll pour in just a minute I have a timer which I'm using the timer on my phone um, but I would have like a manual timer um, I have a spatula for mixing my product I have um, some mascara wands I thought I did I do get them out. I have some mascara ones. Um, I have a disposable eyeliner or lip brush um, and this is what we're going to use to map out the um, eyebrows. And I have um, some cotton swabs here. I have some eye rounds. Here. and I have some protective eye pads so I won't need this many but these are just what I cut up so you can see it there and for products I need my makeup remover so I have my um, makeup remover cleanser here I'm gonna go ahead and get some of that And I have my petroleum jelly here. And I have my lash tint with my developer. This is what we're using today. And um, again, my table paper, which I already had. I have my facial bed, my cart, my 
the stool that I'm sitting on and I have my lamp. So, um, first thing we're gonna do, obviously, is disinfect the workstation, which we've already done and gathered all of our stuff. We're checking to make sure everything works. So, lamp is on, it's working, good to go. Um, gathering our clean supplies um, and we're gonna go ahead and mix our tent while we're waiting because this is only good for um, you have to let it sit for three minutes in order to be good. So we're using three quarters of an inch of our colored cream. And then we're using two to four drops of developer. And this should equal approximately um, equal parts and it should make a mayonnaise consistency. Since we're pretending we're only going to make one of these, but typically you would make two, the lashes are going to be darker and the brows are going to be lighter um, to more match the color of the hair where the lashes would be darker, dark brown or black. Alright, so I've dispensed all my products. I have everything I need. And we are going to get our table set up for our client. So this is my fitted sheet. Uh, we would also have a warm blanket for the client if needed. Since this is a table paper, actually, I'm sorry, this is table paper, um, we're going to put a head towel or hand towel across the table for the client's head. And we're going to go ahead and assist the client onto the table. We're going to give her. Gonna give her and this is just to protect her clothing. Okay. Um, so the next thing we're gonna do is wash our hands. So we're removing these gloves. And these would be disposed of in the trash.
So we're wetting our hands under warm running water, applying liquid antibacterial soap and lathering. We're rinsing our hands in warm running water. We're going to dry our hands with a disposable paper towel. And we're going to turn off the water with the paper towel and dispose of that in the trash. And then we're going to sanitize our hands. So the first thing we're doing is we're applying cleaner to the brows and the lashes. So we're going to go ahead and apply those and allow those to soak. And while they're soaking, we're going to put on our gloves. Back up. All right, so those are soaking. And then I have another one that I'm gonna use to remove the brow color. And we're going with the grain of the brow. And wiping in three strokes. Going back if necessary. That's good. And then we're going to go ahead and clean this. Now we're going to just draw those out. All right, 
So now we are going to just brush the mascaras, brush the mascaras, brush the eyelashes, um, just to make sure that they're um, all going in the same direction and that they're good and clean. And then we're also gonna brush the brows in the direction of the hair growth. And then we are going to apply our petroleum jelly here. I just poured water all over myself. <laughs> That's why we have protective towels, right? So we're gonna instruct our client to keep their eyes closed at all times. And we're gonna apply this petroleum jelly underneath the client's eye. Place our iPads. I want to get these as close to the edge of the lid as you can. Under the lashes. And then we're going to map out our um, area where we don't want color to get on our client's skin here for the brows. And then we're going to do the same to the other side here.
those would be disposed of. So now we are going to go ahead and we are going to apply our um, color. So applying this to the lower lash first um, with the client's eyes open. So applying that to the bottom lash. both sides. And then we're going to have the client close their eyes and we're going to go back and do the top. You have to make sure you get down in there good with your lash brush so that you get all of the hair coated. We're going to set our timer and lashes are going to sit for 10 minutes. I have a cotton swab dipped in water that I'm just going to use to clean some of the color off of the lid. So that has set for 10 minutes. And we're going to go ahead and remove the iPads. Now you're going into the trash. And then we are cleaning the eyes with water this time.
and then we are going to go ahead and do the brow. So, I have my brush applicator, and I have my new color, my lighter color. And I am going to apply this to the brows the same way we did to our lashes. We're setting our timer. This one's going to sit for however long it takes. Um, typically three to five minutes, but if it's a, sometimes it only takes one to three minutes or three to five minutes. So it's just kind of watch and wait um, for this one. You don't want it to go too dark because you can't go back. So. So our product is ready to go. And I have the eye swab just dipped in water. And we're just removing this in the direction of the hair growth. So we're going to discuss with our client maintenance and aftercare. And we're going to dispose of all of our single use items here. and our to be laundered. And then we are gonna clean up our workstation. So again, I have my two wipes. Cleaning and sanitizing with white number one. Wiping down my lamp. Wiping down all my containers on my cart. Now I have white number two, and this is disinfection. So Disinfecting my table, disinfecting my cart, all of my containers, my lamp.
allowing that to sit for two minutes and disposing of that. Then we are disposing of these gloves. And we're going to wash our hands. So washing my hands in warm running water. Lathering with antibacterial soap. Rinse our hands under warm running water. We're going to dry our hands with a disposable paper towel. We're going to turn off the water with the paper towel, dispose of the paper towel in the trash, and then we are sanitizing our hands.